Hello there everyone, I am student meteorologist Nikki Perini here with meteorologist Rick Davis and today we are going to talk to you about these summertime thunderstorms that are about to kick off this summer and go ahead and take it away Rick. Yeah, thanks Nikki. Uh, in Florida we average about 80 to 100 thunderstorm days per year, that's mainly in the summertime. Uh, you can see our lightning activity map is showing a, a high density of lightning around the I-4 corridor from Tampa to Orlando to Daytona and also in southwest Florida. And that, like I said, is mainly due to the afternoon sea breeze that forms. Our land heats up during the day. We have rising air. Cooler air from the uh, water moves inland and produces clouds and thunderstorms that will generate uh, all this lightning activity that we, we're seeing in our maps. Over the next couple days, we are beginning to get into our summertime pattern where we're seeing scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms. Here's today's rainfall chances. 60% or greater for around the uh, southwest Florida into west central Florida. Tomorrow again that 50 to 60% maybe even higher rainfall chances moves up into the Tampa Bay area. So with that we're expecting a lot of rainfall the next couple days. So we could see two to three inches area wide from about Fort Myers to Lake Okeechobee. Uh, one to two inches of rainfall around the Tampa Bay area and northward, and that's area wide. We could locally see heavier rainfall amounts with those stronger thunderstorms and the slow moving thunderstorms. And with thunderstorms comes lightning. Of course, and with lightning, we always want everyone to remain safe. So when the thunder does roar, go indoors, folks. It's definitely not a good idea to be outside. Even if you aren't seeing the lightning, you can always hear the thunder, and you really don't have to be under a thunderstorm to see the lightning either or actually have it impact you. Um, in this image right here, you can see clearly. The lightning wasn't coming from directly below the actual thunderstorm itself, and in all honesty, you can see lightning up to 10 miles away from a, a parent thunderstorm. So definitely something to be aware of and not to be outside during one of these instances. Absolutely. With that, we just want to remind everyone to stay safe this summer, enjoy, have fun, but of course, when the thunder's roaring, go, indo go indoors, folks, and enjoy the remainder of the summer.